What's going on guys? Today we're checking out the ASOS Mill GT Summer Bib Shorts. Uh, so they call this the GTS, so that's the GT Summer. It's their lightweight, breathable, uh, you know, long lasting, uh, you know, comfort, uh, what do they call it, like endurance comfort. So it's a uh, super thick pad apparently and uh, supposed to be great for century rides. So we're gonna go into this and check it out. So let's go ahead and break into this guy and check out the, uh, the shorts themselves. So there's a quick breakdown if you want to read that and pause it, check out some of the features. Um, not a big deal. This is the back side, like I said, if you want to check it out, uh, go ahead. Otherwise, let's break into the bib. So here we go. We've got the uh, tag itself with uh, what I ordered, so I will show that uh, as well. So here we go. We've got the TGTS uh, Mill GT bib short, black, in a size large, uh, with some serial numbers and whatnot and uh, saying that it's designed and engineered by uh, ASOS of Switzerland. So pretty cool. Let's slide this guy out, take a look. Nice little sleeve, it's off super simple. And then the bibs themselves, here we go. So there you go, uh, Ocidia certified texture, whatever that is, looks cool. So two straps obviously that crisscross over top of your shoulders. We can see here in the center of the uh, crisscross, uh, we can see a label. So that may, you know, perhaps if you have multiple sizes and you hang these up in your closet, you can actually see that this is in fact, uh, you know, your size or perhaps you're living with somebody who, uh, you know, one, one's a small and a medium or whatever. So easy to differentiate the size, that's really convenient. I like that uh, the back, is a lighter color, obviously that uh, going towards the sun, that's good that's not black, and then it's easy to uh, to pick that up and put it on. So that's that's a nice design. On the inside of the loops themselves, we don't have any grippers. I know that uh, some bib short companies out there have been putting grippers on the shoulders. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, on these guys, there's nothing uh, of the sorts. If we look at uh, the bottom of the leg, we can see that uh, the inside here has some grippers, which looks really good. Um, not an easy uh, production coating to put on, but you can see even just the stitching, really, really high quality. You don't see this in everything else that I own. But yeah, the quality looks really, really good. And obviously those grippers, those gels, uh, they're there to do their job. So I think that looks really sharp and will serve a really good purpose to keep those down on my leg. On the bottom of one of the legs, we've got a nice little ASOS logo here, which I think looks really good. Uh, one of the things I really like about these particular bibs is the fact that they are very understated and not loud, so that uh, you know it leaves a little bit to the imagination, so that uh, you know you're not as flashy as so uh, you know per se like a, a Rafa or uh, some of the other stuff. But the main thing that we're here for is to check out that uh, chamois itself. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these guys inside out and get a good look at that. So one, I can tell just by feeling it, it's extremely thick. Um, I would probably put this at, uh, you know, 10 mils or more. You know, look it up online, I don't know what it is. Uh, quality, very, very good, very soft. Um, and then on the front here, you can see it's kind of a 360 degree chamois so that I can't actually flatten this out. It's, it's shaped uh, where your fancy situation would be. Uh, to kind of wrap you in all day comfort, uh, so to speak. The stitching on the chamois looks like it's really well done. Nothing that would be cutting into your skin or causing rubbing, so I think this looks really good. And then obviously you see all these little air channeling that's been done here uh, to kind of get everything nice and uh, nice and dry. And then you can kind of just start to see some of the ripples here. Uh, all this uh, material, it's all bumpy inside. It's like a golf ball. It's all full of airflow, so it's going to kind of keep everything nice and dry and uh, comfortable for that long ride. At the top of the chamois, we can actually see, so this is where your uh, special situation would hang out. Uh, the angle of the dangle would not uh, be uncomfortable here because you can see all these little holes that are punched out to improve airflow and uh, keep everything nice and uh, where it should be, so that looks awesome. Another awesome little feature of the chamois, we can see that uh, the, the mill or mile GTS uh, is kind of embroidered right in there, which uh, looks awesome. Uh, you know, if you have multiple versions of this, you can actually uh, see what uh, which one you're grabbing. Aside from that, we can see that the chamois from the front to the back has a bit of a break right here, and that's to allow it to move around so that it's not stitched right into the short. It can move 
with the rider and keep you comfortable. So that is a really cool feature as well. You can see the foaming, uh, or sorry, the foam underneath here. So I don't know what the point of that is, obviously, um, you know, access wise, obviously it's to keep things comfortable, but you know, maybe another really good spot to uh, throw some power gels in there. I'm just kidding, please don't do that. So if we're looking at the build quality, as you can see, everything is double or even triple stitched. Uh, in various thicknesses versus uh, some of my Lacole stuff. It's just kind of one pattern that gets all stitched together. Uh, this has different widths. So obviously that's done uh, at a cost and likely uh, advantageous in comfort. Here's another spot where the strap attaches to the top of the bib. As you can see, really, really good quality and attention to detail and stitched up quite nice. Something to also note here um, for the waistline, it's really nice that A, it's literally the bib short that's folded on itself and, and stitched, so it looks like it's going to be really comfortable, but there's no band to tighten down against uh, your stomach, which makes a lot of sense. So that's kind of it for me, guys. I just wanted to show you the shorts and uh, allow you guys to check these guys out. Go on their website, and uh, there are some deals to be had if you're not uh, picky about color, but uh, these guys from all, uh, all signs point to a really comfortable pair of shorts long-lasting, really good quality stitching, uh, really functional design, and I'm really excited to get them on and try them out. Uh, so that's it. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, uh, we will chat and see you later. Peace.